Oh, 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 Is it, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the entrance. I remember part, we popped around the back. Did we? Yeah, mm. like through those gates. I don't think we had a car. Oh, I must have had a car. Yeah, you drove. Oh, in your silver it's so car. cute. Good evening, guys. How's it going? Hope you're doing good. Hope you've enjoyed the little montage of us getting to where we currently are. So, we're currently in the Isle of Wight, if you haven't already been able to tell from the clips or the title or something like that. What I'm about to show you isn't why we're here. It just happens to be one minute walk away from where we're currently staying. So we didn't film or document any, I don't think we put anything online. No, but let me find some photos because I feel like. We, we documented stuff, but just not publicly. We weren't publicly together at the time. So 11 years ago, Zoe and I came on a trip together to the Isle of Wight and we stayed in this what would you describe that as? Little... Little cottagey house? It's like a little guest house from it's, that house. Yeah. Isn't it? And it was just us two, and we had the loveliest time staying on the Isle of Wight. We did a bunch of different things. It was like our first holiday together as a couple, and we've got such strong memories of it. We found like a beach that we thought was just like a random little beach at the time. I think it is probably one of the most popular beaches. Um, in the Isle of Wight, but we just had like an amazing time. We've definitely got a picture. We wrote Zalfie in the sand. Yeah, we did. I I've got a picture it. of it I on my phone. Got I've got it. I'll insert some pictures on the screen now of our trip. Yeah, it's back 11 years ago. Do you want to see it? <laughs> that is, oh my gosh. On that beach. On this beach, just yeah. here behind us, mm -hmm. there's currently water no stones because the tides come in obviously Look, that's that see that there yeah that's that sign like down there can you down see where no. oh yeah can you see that in the distance don't even know if the camera's going to zoom in far enough that's that sign there so this little place here is what we booked and that is where we stayed together for our first ever holiday I feel like we should book it for one night sometime yeah, and just I mean, like I stay with the girls. Girl. Yeah, I don't know where they'd go, I think it was one bedroom. Was it? Yeah, it was pretty tiny. It was so cute though. So although it's nice to see that spot, that obviously isn't actually, we haven't come all the way to the Isle of Wight just for that. We've actually come away on, I mean, again, you've seen from the beginning clips, on a holiday with the girls and Tracy, Zoe's mum, and Joe as well. It's kind of like a throwback reminiscing childhood holiday for Zoe and Joe and Tracy as well actually go into all of the different locations that Tracy took them when they were younger as a family and obviously now we're getting to experience that and do that with the girls which is really really nice so we're purposely going over the next few days as you'll see to a lot of different places that Zoe and Joe went to with their mum growing up and actually am I right in thinking your mum came with her mum Zoe, hmm? am I right in thinking that your mum came with her mum? Yeah, my mum's been coming here since the 70s. So it's a very nostalgic Because she said earlier, she was like, oh, I remember when my mum, as in Zoe's nan, da 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 was talking about one of the locations we're going to in a couple of days. So it's super nostalgic. This water, look at it. I, it doesn't look real. You know, like sometimes when something looks like AI or like it's like, you know how you The Truman Show. Yeah, I was gonna Zoe say Zoe and that. I always joke that look, we're in the Truman Show. This is show. not real, this is computerized. Look at it. 
Is that not tripping with your eyes? Yeah. Whoa. I want to go like that. How is that? It wouldn't work because it's not actually water. Oh, can you hear it like glugging? It looks so good. Look at it in the camera. I just want to go like this. Like it looks like silky. So as I mentioned at the end of last week's video, I said that this week's video is going to be like particularly like wholesome family vlog content. So, so nostalgic. I hope you enjoy. I'm just going to document little bits over the next couple of days and put it all together in one vlog. Also, I'm vlogging it and Joe's vlogging it. So you're going to get like a real old school three ways. Yeah, three different angles <laughs> and three different ways of vlogging. And my mum is vlogging it. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a picture from the 2nd of March 2013. Then if you can see that on the top. And now we're about to retake it. Bit more, yeah. bit more, bit more of the, that's it. It's a lot more green, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> oh, oh it's trying to airdrop it. <laughs> you're going to see somebody. Look who's around here. I think you're going to know him. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Rupert the bear. Rupert the bear. Oh, oh, Thank you. Just was just behind us. Hi, Stan. Body. Oh, it's dark in. Oh, it's snowy from Tintin. Just wait till you see inside. You. This one. Yeah, who's that one? Uh, okay, and it's a mum. Perfect. Where's Novi? Uh, I don't know. Welcome to day two of the family Isle of Wight trip. I'm saying that as if it's like a whole new video, a whole new vlog. So this morning, as you've just seen, we headed to, what is the place called? I'm not the best with, I don't have the best knowledge of the Isle of Wight. I can't remember, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to have a little, a little Google. God's Hill, that is where we've just been this morning and specifically the model village, which was like a particularly prominent memory and moment and like trips and stuff from Zoe and Joe's childhood so we like recreated some pictures that they had had there when they were younger and stuff which was really fun. It's currently 10 minutes past three in the afternoon we did just try and go to or we drove into Shanklin to try and go to the Chine which I've been to before it is the most amazing walk down through the Chine I think it's through the Chine is that how you describe it down to the beach it kind of feels like you're walking through like, how do I describe this if you haven't been? And the last time I went was probably 12 years ago, maybe even 15 years ago. Um, it's kind of like through a verge that's also like a forest and it's just really beautiful. When you go down, you end up at the beach and it's really cool. Anyways, we got there today and there's a massive sign on the entrance that is like no push chairs, no wheelchairs. There's loads of stairs. It's just not practical, unfortunately. And I was there with a the double push chair with Otty on one side and Novi on the other side. And I was like, ah, I don't think this is gonna work. I was like, maybe I'll just give it a go and just carry it because I don't really mind that. And there's some people were like coming up from just doing the walk. And they were like, you definitely do not even want to attempt that with a push chair. There is, there's, there's moments where there's like 30 stairs at a time, like all together. They were like, that is not going to be fun. So we instantly turned around, had a little look around the shops there. Anyways, you're probably wondering why, why I'm in the car by myself right now. Novi is currently fast asleep. And as we were pulling into where we currently are, which is, I want to say, a donkey sanctuary. That's what I want to say. I don't know too much because, as you can see, I haven't got out the car. The others have all gone and they're all walking around and enjoying themselves. And there are so many cute donkeys roaming around out there. Um, but I've taken one for the team and stayed in the car with Novi. I was going to get her out, but I, was like, I think it'd just be better for me to me to hang back and give this one a miss and sit in the car while she has a good nap so that she's feeling good for the rest of the day. Sometimes, as a parent of little ones you've just got to take one for the team sit out and let them let them recharge 
I feel like having a little nap for myself. I'm so tired. I'm not gonna lie. Going away on trips with two little ones, it's just full on. It is so full on. And we've also got Tracy here and Joe here that are like super hands on and like helping out as well. So hats off to any parents out there, like these parents here, probably got two under two. I just have so much respect for you. Managing to get out there on your holiday and enjoy it fully. Well, it looks like they are with two under two. That's impressive. I've also just noticed that in the car, literally next to me, is a dad sat in the car with a little one also asleep in the back, whilst I'm guessing his partner and potentially another kid or so are out and about having fun. He's literally doing the same thing as me. That's so funny. You can't even see me, it's so dark. <laughs> Like you literally can hardly even see me in the camera. <laughs> it is day three of the Isle of Wight trip and by far the rainiest, darkest, cloudiest day. And I don't have a rain jacket with me. We've just arrived at Black Gang Chine, which is kind of like the big moment, the big place as to why we've come from Zoe and Joe's childhood. Both the girls are currently fast asleep in the car, so we just waiting a couple of minutes to go in. Oh. This is not good weather for Black Gang Chine, is it? We no. could always come back a bit tomorrow. It's meant to be nicer tomorrow. I know, but Joe's not here tomorrow. I know, that's why we're definitely Joe's today. leaving. I think there'll be, able to, there'll be lots we'll be able to do today, but it's just not going to feel the same. No. And I think we got teased with just like the, the most day beautiful day when we arrived, yeah. like ever, to the point where I was on right move. I was like, Zoe, really? I think the Isle of Wight is the place. <laughs> like, what is going on? This is just not real life. I was like, this feels like we're on holiday. We need to move to the Isle of Wight. And now, it's, and now, it's and now we've got pure over. rain. I mean, the weather app says that it's not passing over. The it says it's we just got going to be here, the darker and more rainy it got. Like, yeah. this probably is the rainy. But look at my camera. It's literally like so dark. <laughs> this is all I've got. Kinda I didn't crazy. even bring. I, I even bought on day one when we got here, Joe and I went to M&S and we went and bought swim shorts because it was so nice. <laughs> you jinxed it. <laughs> you definitely jinxed it. Ah. Oh. Right. You could get yourself a black gang chine rain mac. Oh, can I? Probably. Or you could get one of those, one little, of those like, little waterproof ponchos. like Yeah, like the little poncho thing, like when you go to a theme park. We could get one for Otty, that would be cute. We actually do have a raincoat for Otty. Right. Tracy and Joe are currently stood out of their car waiting for us to get out of our car. They're currently just getting wet, so. Let's go and make the most of it. We're going to have a fun time. We're going to have a good day. There's so much to do here. You can just hear the sounds of a theme park. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, just like children, just like having the best time and screaming and shouting. I can see people on rides over there. It's going to be a good day. We're going to make it a good day. We're not going to put any energy into the weather. We're just going to forget about it. Joke's on me. Even brought my sunglasses, <laughs> just in case. Keep the rain out your eyeballs. That's the big giant. That's the giant. It's windy! That is a big giant! <laughs> she just said no thanks! <laughs> Do you want to go on it? <laughs> no! Nanny, watch out! <laughs> Nanny, watch out! <gasps> That's the biggest one I've ever seen. That is the biggest one. <gasps> wow, what a look at that one. Are you scared? Yeah. I'm coming. Let's run. Let's run. Oh my. <gasps> Otty, look. What is it? Do you see how big it is? The biggest dinosaur I've ever seen. And look at that dinosaur. Wow, are these friendly dinosaurs or scary dinosaurs? I think they're dinosaurs. Do you think it's scary? That's really scary. Can you run with me? Let's run. <laughs> Quick. We 
you need to unbother that at all. That is not fun. Ah! Do you know what these ones like doing? Yeah. These ones love eating people called Jojo. Jojo! No, they don't eat you. They're gonna eat me? Yeah. Oh no, I better run! <laughs> <laughs> About 12 years ago or so, there's a vlog of Joe and I playing this exact game. Are you from Netflix? Look at this. <laughs> now fast forward, Joe and Otty are playing it. That's so crazy. <laughs> it's good fun, isn't it? <laughs> The anti-rain is coming out for Novi, so she doesn't get wet while she's napping. Just saying to Zoe a second ago, it's so funny when you come to places like this, you worry about the weather or the rain or the wind for your little ones. They're actually not enjoying it as much, whereas so often they enjoy that more. What you said to me a second ago, she was like, wind, wind, please go bigger. And I was like, do you not want it to go away? She was like, no, I want more wind. She just loves it. No one can figure the way out. They're legit lost in the maze. Look at Jojo, look at Jojo. <laughs> Otty. <laughs> no chance. Can you go somewhere with Jojo? I can. You, you can. can, go on, we'll take a nice little picture. We're gonna take a picture. Full of funny face, full of funny face. Quick, quick, quick. It's gonna be wobbly. Is she crawling? I'm coming to get ya. Oh, 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 oh. Do you wanna give him this? I am finished, yeah. Have you woken up? Have you had the best nap ever? Hey? Look at you all snug in there. I'm pretty jealous. You look very nice and cosy. Are you ready? Whoa! Oh, Whoa! Can you do it without holding on? See if you can do it by yourself. Whoa! <laughs> Go and help him, quick! Are you pulling him? Good job! Yes! Whoa! We did it! Teamwork! So Otty wanted to go on this ride so bad ever since we said that we were coming here she saw a video of it online but she has to be 1.2 meters tall so she can't go on it because she's too small so she's been saying don't worry Jojo will go on it Joe's scared of rides like this yeah I don't want to do it so he won't do it he's been trying to find any excuse possible and he's just seen one and it is kind of valid <laughs> I have got a dodgy neck. neck conditions Joe permanently has a bad neck yes. Stand really far back. Whoa!
Ah, hello, hello. Good morning. How are we? It is somehow the last day of the trip already. I honestly feel like we arrived yesterday. I think two reasons. Number one, when you're away on holiday or on a trip, time just goes so much quicker. I always feel like I think because you're doing more and you're out of your normal like routine of life. And then, <laughs> then secondly, because you're just having a good time. Just having a good time. I feel like if you're having a good time, it speeds up time. Anyways, it's the last day of the trip. I'm currently parked up, charging up the car, ready for the drive home. When I got this car, what, four years ago, I remember everybody being like, you sure you wanna go electric? It's gonna be so difficult when you're out and about, when you wanna charge, when you're not at your house. It is just so easy. I'm on the Isle of Wight and three minutes, no, four minutes, four minutes from where we're staying is this car park that has just four electric chargers. And I'm pretty sure on the other side of the car park or the road next to it, there's another two electric chargers. It's just so simple. Now I've parked up, Tracy and Zoe have just walked in to meet me here. We're gonna have a little walk around. This is Cows, just for like a couple of hours or so. Joe left this morning. He had to get back earlier because he's got a wedding to go to this afternoon. So he's already jumped on the ferry and headed back home. So Tracy's coming in the car with us on the way back and we've just checked out our Airbnb, which just couldn't have been lovelier. Tracy and Zoe and Otti and Novi are currently walking to here to meet me. This is the little, I wanna say town, I don't know if that's the right word, of cows, which looks super cute and super lovely. So I'm excited to have a look around it whilst the car charges up and it's going very fast. Like this is an incredibly fast charger. Anyways, let's go and have a look around cows. Just met up with the others check out the cookies in this shop. Should we go and see them? Maybe we should get one. She's never seen cookies so big. Wow, cookies with face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> How is it? Good. Good. Thank you. Otty, check out that bed. Look at that. Wow. Oh, did you hear that? I wish I could buy that bed. <laughs> Vintage period interiors. That's so cool. Alright, we're going to pop into this shop here called Salt. And this is going to be my first and realistically last proper nice coffee on the island. I'm very excited. Could I get one flat white and one Amer Americano? Black or white, uh, Black, please. Thank you. This bakery here looks amazing. Otto, you're going to post the postcard? Mm -hmm. We've just written my mum and dad a postcard. Let me just read you what she, what she wanted to write. Hello, Nanny and Dad Dad. I saw two talking bins at Black Gang Chine. Paddled my feet in the sea. I lost my feet. I saw dinosaurs, the shop, and two whales. We saw funny mirrors, and I've had two ice creams. Love from Otty. <laughs> and I love my It's all true. And you, and you lost your hands, hands as well, oh, did you? Okay. Well, Mummy didn't write that bit. <laughs> Let me see the outside of the card. You found them again. Yay! Look at the books. Look at the bookshelf. <laughs> One, two, and three all in the line. <laughs> Literally just my face. That's so funny that they're just all in a perfect line. I haven't seen them like that in years. I don't think Otty's ever seen this before. Who's this on the back of that book? Daddy. What am I doing on there? It's your daddy. Is that funny? Oh wait, look. No. <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah.
just a couple of days later, obviously I'm back home, as you can see. I've just finished editing up this video that you're watching, and I just wanted to add on a little summary, a little chat, a little roundup at the ending, because it would have been weird to just cut and not like chat about the trip as a whole and everything. I feel like this video is gonna be one that myself, potentially Zoe as well, definitely the girls, are just gonna like watch back a bunch of times over the years. I feel like it just sums up the trip that we just had, the holiday, so nicely and includes so many just like lovely little moments. Maybe I'm biased because it's my family. Maybe like I'm swayed because I'm watching my, uh, my own gals. Do you know what I mean? Like my own family. But yeah, I just particularly really, really enjoyed this, this video. And I know that it's going to be one that we watch back. And it makes me think about my childhood. And like, my, I'm very lucky that my parents were, like we were the family where my parents did film a lot of stuff. And we've got so many home movies and picture albums and picture albums that my parents have like put together, particularly my mum of like photo albums of my sister, photo albums of me, certain years, certain locations and holidays. And like, we've got so much, maybe that's why I enjoy doing this so much myself is maybe because over the years I've like been able to watch back so many videos and moments and like my life in London before I even moved to Brighton when I was four, like I've got a bunch captured and we watch back every now and again. And I just love that so much. So putting this vlog together now, I'm like already looking in the future at how cool it's gonna be that myself and Zoe, but also Otti and Novi, are gonna be able to like watch this back themselves and like see their holiday. I think that's gonna be really special. But yeah, I hope you hope you enjoyed it. As Zoe said right at the beginning of the vlog, on like day one, I think she mentioned it. When we were walking on the beach, she mentioned that Zoe's vlogged the trip as well. Joe also vlogged the trip, so I'll leave a link down below to Joe's video. I feel like it's gonna be like old school YouTube of like multiple people filming multiple angles and capturing different moments from the trip and filming in different ways. It'll be really cool. So definitely go check out their videos as well. I end off every vlog, if you don't already know, answering a question that was left in the comments of my previous vlog. So if you've got anything you want to ask me, drop it down below in the comments. There is no right, there is no wrong, there is no certain topic or like style of question. Anything you want to know, Drop a question down below and I'll answer one at the end of the next vlog. I screenshotted one from the last vlog. Let me just load it up. Where is it? Here we go. What's one moment in your life that you haven't filmed but you wish you had on camera? That is a good question because I filmed so much. One moment. I mean, I'm sure there's so many different moments that I wish I filmed if I thought about it for long enough and about different areas of my life. But straight off the, like, the top of my head, the first thing that comes to mind, and I don't think it would have been possible to film. No, maybe it would have. Cameras were were able to do that back then, but they would have just been obviously physically bigger and harder to store the footage and edit and all of that. But I think sleepovers with my mates. Like, I just have the best memories of big, like, group sleepovers with my mates. And there'd be, like, sometimes, like, 10 or 12 of us kind of thing, all sleeping at my mate's house, particularly my mate Jay would all be staying at his or everybody would be sleeping at mine. And we just had such good times. Like such bloody good times, just like messing about, being teenagers. Yeah, I can't even explain because it's just like so many inside jokes. And you know what, you know what I mean. Um, I wish I had like vlogs of evenings of those because I've got pictures from moments. We've got little videos because I was into bits of YouTube back then for some of it anyway. So we've got like moments that like, I'm sure a couple of us could pull together some bits, but I wish that there was like full vlogs of like, sometimes we'd do weekend sleepovers where we'd all like go to my mate's house on the Friday. His mum would leave the house for a couple of days and we'd like just have the sickest time all of Friday evening, Saturday and Sunday and then leave Sunday evening. And I wish there was like full vlogs of all of that happening and like what we got up to and things. Yeah, I wish. Wish that I could just like watch back those moments and like feel feel what I felt. And I feel like sometimes when you're watching a video that's shot and edited right, you can feel what you were feeling back when it was happening. So probably that. But I'm sure if I thought about different areas of life, like loved ones that are no longer here, like capture more moments with them and lots of different things. But yeah, let me know down below. What moment in your life do you wish you had captured on camera? Um, that you don't have. I'd love to know. I'm gonna jump in the comments, reply to a load, read them all as always and everything. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Actually, there is one thing that I just wanted to leave on. I saw a quote earlier and I saved it because I wanted to say it in this vlog right at the end. 
obviously it's not my quote. I just saw it on Instagram earlier and I love it. It's so simple. Don't lose this moment searching for another. So simple, but something that I feel like a lot of us can could do with. A lot of us could do with. Don't lose this moment searching for another. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you next week with another new video. Appreciate it.